Hey kids, I am back. And so are you! Uh, guys, 3D World has really good fucking music. I gotta go back and listen to more of that soundtrack sometime. Anyways, in the meantime, let's do some Paper Mario Color Splash. We're doing a different Wii U Mario today. Out of the surprisingly many. Yeah, um, I took a day off the other day because I just wasn't... I was feeling more fucking miserable than usual. And I just wasn't up for streaming. But usually streaming makes you feel pretty good, so I don't know why I didn't, but... Anyways. Here we are. Thought I'd, uh, swap the order of the games uh, we're doing tonight, too. Uh, yesterday I said I wanted to do Donkey Kong and Paper Mario for the time being, but we'll, we'll see how switching it around feels. Because before that, I was doing Paper Mario first. So we'll see wh where things go. Uh, so where did we leave things off last time? Uh, we got some coins? Right, we did Rochambeau. We got a bunch of coins. We repurchased some things. Let's open the menu here so I can look at my cards. And that way I can see whether or not I actually purchased my things. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't look like I did... Or did I? No, the magnifying glass was the one thing I needed, and I have that. So we're good. Uh, I don't know where we would go from here. My guess is trying to find where wherever this second paint star is. Um, I don't know if that's going to lead us to a shortcut or the next piece of progress, but this is really all I have to go on, so I guess I'm trusting this. Yeah, and we got a magma burger for this boy, too, so we should be good to go. Fish... There's my boy. Okay, so... I wonder where we gotta go now. Again, this seemed... This area seemed pretty linear as... He's right in front of us. What is... What does that mean? That's ominous. He's right in front of us. Why did it say that? What triggered that? Oh, I can go down from here. <gasps> oh, well... That was easy. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like this whole fucking... Oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Can I get off? Hey, thank you. We can always buy another one, and he did get us to the paint star. So let's give Dragon on the Tango Burger as a sign of our appreciation. He's got a point. Dragon, thank you for the ride. Please enjoy your tasty burger. We love you. Bye. What a good boy. So what? Right, let's try throwing it again. Um, I said in front of us. In front of us. Like, right in front of us. What's going on? He, I, I think I can just grab the star. <laughs> like, no questions asked. Right in front of us. Really? Is it so? Okay, sure. Fuck off. <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> that wraps up our mystery surprisingly quickly. So let's see where this opens up on the world map, and we'll see if it's a shortcut or something actually new. If not here, then where, though? Oh, it totally is a shortcut. Look at that. Uh, and that explains the missing Rochambeau spot, too. Oh, look at that. We actually got a new one. Well, all right. God damn, this world map theme is so good. Maybe if we checked out that letter. If we look at the letter that we have uh, back in town, maybe that'll give us some info on where to go next. But so far, I'm pretty clueless. Both Prisma. What are the requirements for these little flagpoles again? Get all the cutouts. Uh, defeat, defeat all the rock paper wizards. Repaint all colorless spots. 
I don't know if I'll go for like that kind of 100%, but as far as the, the museum goes, I'll try to get most of it. Alright, so that's the item shop. I had a feeling it came here before, but I don't think I went across the bridge here. There we go. Hey Mario! Great timing! You got new mail! Dear Mario, this is the... Oh, dear Mario, this is the foreman from Toad Trainworks. As you know, I was gonna retire after repairing that train engine. Thing is, I fixed it up so good the Toads upstairs decided to keep the Sunset Express on the tracks. Which got me thinking, maybe now is not the time for me to retire. If that old hunk of junk can stay on the tracks, so can I. And so can you, Mario. Never give up. The foreman. And here's another new letter for you. Exciting. Oh, shit. Hey, you big bro. It's a, your brother, Luigi. Top guy with the green hat. Have you ever seen a door with spinning panels? Well, once you've been through a door, it gains an extra color. Not red, blue, or yellow like the standard colors, but a rainbow one. Maybe you should have checked it out, eh? Remember, you can always read old letters. Ah! It gains an extra color. A rainbow door. Fascinating. Man, I'm still really... Curious as to where this final missing unpainted spot is. For the life of me, I can't find it. I haven't been up here in a while. <gasps> here it is! Look at that! Speaking of, that must be the missing 1%. Well, there we go. Let's get out of here. <sighs> well, it doesn't really bring us much closer to figuring out where we need to go. But at least we get the... Oh, God. <laughs> At least you get that little flag. <gasps> you! Oi, you bastard. Is he, does he go down the same track that I do, or does he... Yeah, I, I think he does. Well, okay, I can get to where he does. Sure. Yeah, uh, see ya. Oh, and I still get the bonus, too. Lovely. Hmm. Well, let's see. The only place we haven't been is down here. In the green. There is indeed one star left here in the Sacred Forest. I don't know if the game gave us any indication that we're supposed to go back here, though. It told us we needed a magnifying glass. <gasps> I remember now! The, the pipe that we couldn't get, remember? Oh, guys. Oh, I know what we have to do. It's all so clear to me now. Oh, guys, this is it. Progress. Sweet, sweet progress. Ooh, paint. These boys are all so tiny still. I guess that makes sense. Alright, it's around this... No, I gotta cross the bridge. But it's on this... in this room, right? Do I get good cards from these blocks, or...? Because this, the, this is a lot of freebies that I'm walking by. Oh no, just weak cards. Which I have been complaining quite a bit about, so... Maybe I'll get a few. Sure. Alright, let's check out that pipe. It is over here, though, right? Oh, okay, cool. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, let's get snipping. The, the magnifying glass, of course. I just completely forgot that this spot like even existed before I looked at the world map and like made that connection. Touch to paint. That ought to do it! Wow. There we go. We should be able to fit in this bad boy now. Won't be the first time I heard that from a paint can. Oh. There it is. Man, you've got some luck, Mario. Can't believe you found a paint star so deep in these woods. What's the matter, Mario? Grab that thing and let's roll like a paint roller. I don't see any trouble around here. 
Maybe I glossed over it. Get it? Gloss? Cause paint? Well, I don't see you making any good puns. Eh? <laughs> ah, Mario! Fancy meeting you here. I've heard much about your exploits. Searching for the big paint stars, journeying here and there. Yes? Lord Bowser went to the trouble of scattering the paint stars and you're undoing his hard work. In other words, you're being Mario. You may have bested us before, but this time will be different. You'll leave this battle looking like a pile of confetti. Confetti in a parade honoring our fearless Koopa King. I've sized you up, Mario, but my magics may size you down. <laughs> size you down? He's gonna shrink us, isn't he? Bring it, old man. We'll make you wish you were never painted. Oh, goodness. Big words for such a little can. But with Mario here, I must take every precaution. Prepare yourself for the view of the Koopa Magics! Oh, wait. What? Kickity caw, kickity coo, make Mario the size of my dick. Eh! Why is it just the regular mini boss theme? In Sticker Star, Kamek had a kick ass boss battle theme. That's a little lame. <laughs> it's Itsy Bitsy Little Mario. <laughs> Why is he doing hello speak? Now let's see you stomp some Goombas now, you greedy little coin snatcher. True power needs not material wealth. Uh oh. Oh, and he's disguised all of my cards. I can't tell what I'm using here. Okay, well, I know that that's a triple jump and that's a triple hammer. At the very least, I know that. So we'll start off with this. At least I'm getting used to the timing pretty quickly. All things considered, I'm making pretty good progress in this battle here. For like one turn and two cards? Damn. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh-oh. Oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> Lippity lock, lickity licks, trim your hand right down to six! Uh-oh. Paralyzed by choice, are we? Allow me to help. <laughs> and you're never getting your other cards back. Well, unless you win the fight. Oh, now my cards are disguised and I can't see what they are. Well, whatever they are, they're all colored in, so I can't see how much paint each consumes, so that means I really have no clues here. You can't see the card face. It could be anything. Fuck. It could be anything, you're right. Well, I'm not getting any of them back, any other cards back until I win the battle, so I'll just use whatever. Oh shit, this isn't bad. Yeah, some hand you've reduced me to, huh? Okay, we're getting places. Tickety touch, tickety twos, all of your cards are crummy shoes. Eh? <laughs> oh, my cards are shoes! They're all worn out jumps. Oh god, okay. Sporta shoes ready? Okay. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, still not there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay. Is it gonna? Yeah. Koopity ka, koopity con. Where's your hand? Oops, it's gone. Eh? All my cards are. Oh, you didn't want those cards, did you? You can always pay for a battle spin. Cross your fingers for a good card. Holy shit! I have no cards. He took. No. You know what? There's a thing card in the batch. I'm gonna go for this replica light bulb. 
That'll do the trick. Cards ready? Flick. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Oh, did- oh, it just makes him dizzy? But I didn't want him to be dizzy. I mean, the- okay. I was hoping that would do, like, some damage, maybe, but okay. Battle spin it is, huh? Okay, there's a replica hairdryer here. That's gotta be something. It'll certainly do more than make him dizzy, I hope. Alright, and flick. What do you got for me, hairdryer? I want, like, a big finish here. Really? <laughs> he's still going! Oh, but he's still dizzy. Well, that's handy. Alright, well, what now? Battle spin again, it is. Oh, I mean, I guess so. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Ooh, let's get a triple jump. Let's get a triple jump. Or a triple hammer. Even that feels like a little overkill, though. I don't think I have really have a... I'm in a position to pick and choose here. It's the one card that I have. Huh? No! But how? I was so busy tormenting Mario that I failed to realize my color has drained completely. Which means the words I'm now speaking are my last. Quick, Kamek, say something profound! Uh, did I lock my front door this morning? Fuck, no! Curse you, Mario! With my last ounce of power, I'll trap you in this forest forever! I'm going to make you so big you'll never fit in a pipe again, plumber boy! <laughs> Oh, I guess I only had enough power left to turn you back to normal size. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, there's those juicy cards that I miss so much. My power drained my once striking visage. So pale and colorless. Like a bleached boo running a bleached blooper. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> like a bleached boo running a beach blooper. Like a bleached boo running a beach blooper. Like a bleached boo. Like bleach boo. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Bah, you could probably do it anyway. You're one tough cookie, Mario! My Koopa Magic sister once called a veritable all you can eat buffet of chaos by the Prism Times were not enough to stop you. I am a defeat. You earn my respect all over again. Here, you deserve this more than I. <laughs> oh shit! Really? Max cards up! So does that mean we can carry more or we can use more per turn? With this, you'll be able to play an additional card. Wow, cool! Thanks, Kamek, but it still doesn't make up for the terrible things you've done. The forests are still the wrong size. You listening? Oh, God. I'll take that as a no. Kamek is dead. Game over. That was a little morbid. Well, at least we're finally <laughs> getting a move on here. Yeah, okay. This definitely opens up what we need. Come to think of it, was anything in the volcano even necessary? I think all of those were shortcuts. Oh, well, you know what? No, we did need the hairdryer to get the magnifying glass in the first place. Fair enough. The green energy plant. Cozy. Oh! <gasps> oh, fuck. I know an L when I see one. He's like trapped inside. Do I stand on the pipe and then press Y? There we go. Yeah, you gotta be like just the right angle to get the perspectives to line up sometimes. 
Even when it's not necessary in some situations like this. Oh, there's my boy. Hey, Mario! Oh, nice, and I get 300 points on my troubles. Okay, bye then. <laughs> get the fuck out of my game pad. Hmm, it doesn't look like there's any uncolored spots around here, so I guess we'll save and head inside, unless that TV is blank. Nah. This looks like something, though. Or not. Let's just go inside. <laughs> eh? Locked, eh? Well, let's try knocking. <gasps> eh? Oh, God. Mario, help me! This... this death claw just grabbed me out of nowhere! Oh-ho-ho! Oh, oh. Death claw? Not to worry. That's just a science claw, friend. I apologize for the grabby introduction, but this is the Green Energy Plant. I normally research alternative sources of renewable energy here, but ironically the power is out. And now what, you're trying to steal the power from my body with this claw? Well, I'll never get my, my power. Never! Wait, I don't even think I have any power. No power? Oh, at first glance I thought you for sure were some sort of robot. Some sort of robotic can of beans. Well, I thought you were either a robot or a can of cat food. Close enough. Either way, it was a big win for way this toad eats cat food. Anyway, I used my last bit of power to grab you with this claw. Cat food? How dare you let me out of this thing. Wait, what did you say about losing power? Did something trip a breaker? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Only I haven't been able to reset it like usual. It was so strange. I saw something that appeared to be a shooting star. It blasted through the window and went into this monitor somehow. After that, the breaker tripped and everything went dark. Mario, that might have been one of our paint stars. We should take a closer look at this monitor. So, Green Toad Science Guy, can you let me down and turn this thing on? Oh ho ho! Of course not. Would you listen to anything I said? I don't have any power. Of course, you're welcome to look around my laboratory a bit if you can figure something out. Hmm. It just fucking rips and Huey dies. Ugh, all the paint has gone to my head. I could really use a good five minutes and a shaker. It would be fantastic if you could fix the power for me. My research awaits. And to be honest, I want to play with my science claw. Alright, what do we got up here? Well, this looks like something. A whole lot of something. And yet. Hmm. You'd think that there'd be some sort of interaction with this, but there's there's not. There's nothing. Oh, wait. Eh? It doesn't look like I could... Okay. Maybe I have to turn the power on first and then the monitor. It looks like that wire goes outside, so let's see what the interference is up here. You can't really see the top of the house. Nor does it seem like you can really climb to it unless... No. That's odd. Maybe the wire goes this way? Oh, there's a pipe right here. Yeah, that'll probably help us fix things up. Oh, I see. Well... I mean, okay. I mean, there's a card slot here, but what kind of card would I put here? No, I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. I definitely don't have the right thing. My guess would be a magnet or something like that. But we'll take a trip to the trash can toad, just to make sure. There's nothing really here aside from this house, so it's pretty easy to get back to the world map anyways. I say we go for it. Better that than to waste important cards. All right. Oh, this world map theme just gets better and better. We're actually just like, Pretty close to getting like the fully completed uh, world map theme, come to think of it. 
What? Prisma. All right, give me that trash can, Toad. Where's my boy? Oh, I can actually use some more hearts here. I'm actually quite low on health. That Kamek battle really did more than I thought it did. All right, what do you got for me? What's the intel? Hello again, Mario. Need to know about anything today? You must seek a thing that holds electricity. Seek this thing in a seafaring craft propelled by wind. I have a really special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. Something found in a seafaring... A compass? We found a compass in the boat in Chapter 4. A thing that holds electricity. There is a battery in there, too! The battery. Let's go get the battery. That's gotta be it. I remember using that earlier because I thought it was useless, but perhaps not. Let's get that battery. Let's get to squeeze him. If it's not the battery, I don't know what else it, it could be. Especially because the mystery was re related to like a power line. And when you use it in battle, it like summons lightning, so... That could like jumpstart the electricity. I don't know. Let's go find out. Luigi! Man, we've pretty much got, like, the whole map colored in. Once you're finished with this chapter, I think that'll be it. Yeah, this is the last chapter, huh? Even before the finale, that is. Alright. So, right, we go down the pipe. That takes us up to the power lines. And then we'll try putting that battery in if I can get in the pipe to begin with. There we go. Let's plug that bad boy in. Alright, battery. What do you got for me? Battery. Touch to paint. And there we go. Oh, fuck. So, if I remember correctly, lightning tends to strike tall metal objects. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! Huey is dead! Game over. What if I just go inside and don't... Okay, yeah, it won't let me choose. I was right about the lightning. Oh, <laughs> poor little guy. Guys, you did it! The electricity is back on! Yeah, you're welcome, science guy. Hey Mario, check it out. I can practically smell our paint star through this screen. Based on the minty fresh scent, I'd say it's a green mini paint star we're after. By the way, what is all this nonsense on the screen? And the music, it's making me so happy and nostalgic for some reason. Ah, yes, my latest experiment. I've been measuring the brain activity in response to these ancient images. I can't make heads or tails of them, but they seem to make a lot of people quite happy. Isn't it fascinating how the images seem to scroll from side to side? And look at all those platforms! Yes, fascinating. Anyway, I'm positive that one of our missing paint stars is in there. Can you, can you get us in there somehow? Sometimes I stay up all night researching this particular set of images and sounds. Alright, so... Maybe now we're, we're able to cut this out. Let's see if it works this time. Oh yeah, in we go! This is it, Huey! Oh shit, here we go. Whoa, this is so weird! Everything's all bleepy and bloopy. <laughs> Some things never change. Here we are inside a crazy pigislated world, and there's a Goomba. 
Try stomping on it or smashing it with your hammer, like you would in the real world. Oh shit. Oh, this is- you can't change your momentum midair. You can, like, kind of start and then start- you can- Okay, if you're still, you can jump and then start moving. But if you, like, start moving, you can't really, like- It doesn't have that same fluidity that Mario 3 does. I guess it's trying to control more like Paper Mario than Mario 3, though. I can even jump high enough to reach these things. Hmm, this is a bit of a problem. Well, let's try changing your perspective a little bit. This is gonna use up a little bit of pain, but it's totally worth it. So go ahead and press Y and see what happens. Eh? Well, that's even crazier than I expected. You should try doing this all over the place. The only thing is, I can only help you hold this perspective for a little bit at a time, like 10 seconds. When the time is up, you'll pop back into the real world. I mean, the real fake world that we're in. Anyway, if you want to go back to normal before 10 seconds have passed, just press Y again, okay? Have fun, and be careful. Oh, the, the timer up there is cute. But I can go back here, hold on. But I want the block! Wait! Uh-oh. Oh, it just takes more. Well, now we gotta... Okay. It's a good thing I leveled up as much as I did. Oh, this is just a shadow anyways. I like that some of these drop cards, though. HUGE JUMP! Holy fuck. Whoa. There we go. Ah, of course. Oh! Cute. Let's try this again. Yeah, what the fuck? There's totally stuff over here! Oh, that's nuts. Eh? What? Secrets. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, listen to this! Oh, this is this is cool. Man, and now I have four cards. Let's try using this. I have no idea how much of overkill this is, but <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Man, and even, like, the sound effects are a little different, too. From the looks of it, I pulled out just about as many cards as I needed. If I pull this off properly, I should be able to finish it all in one turn. Or... Oh, there's one left! I'll listen to this fucking breakdown, though. Oh, this slaps? Alright. That ought to do it! I like that the battles are starting to get tougher here. Even though I did that in one turn. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we'll just continue this way, huh? Ho oh, ho! Oh. Yeah, but what if I... what if I do this? The huge KO hammer. There's like a couple pipes here, what leads where? Eh? Squeeze. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a real-ass hammer! Now look at that handle go. The claw hammer. This steel-headed hammer is harder than the one Mario usually uses, 
It can even break huge rocks that might be blocking your path. Interesting. Is that all it's human, or...? Uh-oh, that's not what I want. Okay, hold on. This is the first room. Hold on now, hold on. What if we try here? Nah, no, nothing. There was a secret the first time around. Oh right, it was on the other side. It looks like there's a little bit more to the pipes in that underground area that I want to check out first before moving on. I want to get all the secrets. Oh, well I need that again. Yeah, because this pipe takes me over there, and then, yeah, okay. So this time, what if I try going down the red pipe? Oh god. There is more to this, huh? Actually, I think I get more coins if I do it this way. I like the idea that it's a 2D perspective, but all the Goombas are just like... Just marching in a row, in like a full line. Oh jeez. Maybe this will help? Ho oh, ho! Clever. But now this is flat, so now we got- oh, that's cute. Gotcha. Oh, but something's going on down here now? Ah. Ah, I see, I see more secrets. Eh? Oof, not today, buddy. Can I really not jump? Okay, that is what was going on. I was wondering this earlier, but I wasn't able to jump on these guys after getting hit. Hmm. Well, I did just get a couple of interesting hammers, but I think I'll hold back for now. I want to turn those into the museum. Let's see. Boom! Ring! I don't know. Let's try this. Oh, can we get an excellent, maybe? Or great, sure. Great. There's an excellent. <laughs> I like these cute little sound effects that they changed up. Oh, not quite. Oh dear. Uh, I'm gonna say three jumps should do that. There we go. Oh, that's cute. I didn't notice the little winning theme before. <laughs> Yeah, I could use some paint. Excuse Whoa! Hey, look at that! It might be all weird and chunky, but that smells like a paint store to me. Oh. <laughs> well, that flake seems important somehow. Maybe it's how we get out of this place. Why don't you try jumping on it? You know, like you do at the end of a cutout sometimes. But, uh, but the star? You got a mini paint star. Why? Why did he talk like that? I mean, okay. Wait a second, that's a Mario 1 thing! Wait! Well, they can't do that! They can't do that! That shooting star came zooming out all of a sudden! This must be one of those new high def 3D monitors! Man, I don't know. There was a lot of branching stuff in that area, though. I feel like I missed out on a lot in there. 
We'll see if there's any other alternate routes, I guess. Or second stars in the map. I don't know where this could go, though. There's not really any other place you could get a shortcut to from here. Let's see. Yeah, it's just the one. Odd. Wait, hold on. Something arrived in the... Okay, hold on now. Hold on now. It's a letter from our friends! We'll investigate that. And also donate some cards and pick up some more items that were low on. Especially after uh, that Canic Battle too, I probably wasted a bunch of important stuff. Uh, so let's see, first thing we want to do is send in all the new cards we got. Come on, there we go. My, my, you've been busy with the old paint hammer, haven't you? Well, don't think you haven't noticed. Thanks to your fine efforts, we've been able to procure some records to the sound gallery. I cannot say that last sentence there without fucking stuttering. Every time I read it, I fuck it up somehow. Alright, what do we have in terms of basic cards? We got some huge stuff. I don't know. Huge shoe and huge KO hammer. That covers that for now. What enemy cards did we get? I'm trying to think. Nothing's really coming to mind since the volcano. Ah, uh, Morton from the Rochambeau win. And then I think cards, I think it's just the hammer. Let's see. Yep, that's one hammer right there. Okay. What are our totals so far? Wow, we're really getting there. You know, except for the enemy cards, Christ. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I wonder where the rest of the enemy cards are. Because so far, those seem like random drops. And I know there's a whole suite of Koopaling cards that you get from the Rochambeau temples, but... That doesn't bring us anywhere near close to... What the missing amount is. Alright. Uh, oh, let's go get uh, our thing cards before we go shopping, so we don't uh, end up in a situation like we did last time, where we, where we can't afford to get the thing card. Let's also talk to the trash can over here. Indeed. There are actually two things that could be interesting to you right now. Wanna hear about them? You must seek a sparkly round thing that can create a party out of thin air. Find it backstage at the big top. You must seek a sharp and pointy thing that will make a rather scary weapon. I have a real special feeling about this particular thing. I think it would be just the thing for you. Something sharp and pointy and something that can create a party in an instant. Does that describe anything here? Well, we've got an ice pick. It's pointy chip. Oh, well. It's pointy tip can squeeze ice something something or other. Well, that looks pretty pointy to me. Oh god. <laughs> Hold on. Squeezing that would give me more of a break to get up, but it turns out that that is not the case. I've been streaming on battery power this whole time. I gotta get my charger. There we go. 
Okay, but in terms of something that can create a party out of thin air, backstage at the big top. I'm thinking the, the stage where Berta was, but those were balloons backstage. Right, maybe maybe it's something we'll come across later. We'll come back here if we need to. Uh, and then I guess when we go to the store, we'll just uh, make sure not to spend too much and leave enough for a thing card if we need to buy one again. Uh, right, this way. Alright, and then that should wrap up our business support Prisma. We can get a move on again. Alright. Maybe we'll get some more blank cards here. Let's see. Some hammers. Hmm. These seem pretty handy to pick up. How many mushrooms? What's our mushroom situation here? There's no way to get like blank versions of these either, too. Uh, okay, we'll probably get like, three of these and three of these. That brings us to that. Uh, your cards. What's our total right now? How many? Oh, we can literally buy one more. <laughs> All right, let's get a huge hammer. Probably could have gotten a blank one. <laughs> and also, maybe some hot slippers, but whatever. Okay, so that takes care of our business at Port Prisma. Uh, now we can head back. Not to the Mario 3 place, but uh, actually the next stage. We're, we're already there. Okay. Moss Rock Theater. Ooh. Oh, this is a cool atmosphere. I like the desaturated colors here. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. I gotta get a, into a fight here. Hold on. Huh? Looks like there's a poster stuck to that tree. Oh, it wants me to read it. Presenting the Emerald Circus. It's fun, we promise. Mario, it says there's a circus. It says it's fun. It wouldn't lie about that. Okay, but let me get into a battle. Let me use some cards. And let me go back and pick up those drops. Okay, cool. Hopefully they don't go away after a battle. Okay, let's sort our things out, and I guess we'll start putting those hammers to use uh, immediately. Oh, the sorting's all different now, because they're not colored in. Alright, let's go for it. Let's see how much damage this does. <laughs> this may be a little extreme, but only one way to find out. Oof! Or, you know what, given my skill level, maybe not. God damn it, I haven't gotten a single excellent. Just two nices and a fuck up. Oh, I totally could have gotten them in the one turn. Oh, jeez. Anna wasted four cards. I guess it's kind of the give and take of being able to use more per turn is that, uh. You lose them faster. Per battle. If you decide to take advantage of that, anyways. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, come on, cards. Oh, they're still here. Phew. Alright, that's not too bad. And I see something going on behind this bush. There we go. And I didn't forget about you, either. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a part of the ground for a second. This forest is creepy. I mean, just listen to this music. I think it slaps. I like that they've gone for live performance music in this uh, particular Paper Mario. 
Good stuff. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, I thought those guys were gonna. They've got some interesting movement patterns here. Uh oh, three. Alright. Let's sort our cards and see what we can bust out here. Uh, I'm gonna say a double hammer and two hammers. Apparently, I gotta work on my timing here. Yeah, as long as we can get excellence more often, I think we'll be fine. Or not. Or? Oh, the, yeah, the shockwave, right. All is not lost. Although, some is. <laughs> some is. Oof! Alright, I'm gonna say we'll try one hammer for now. I think an excellent might be able to do the trick, but maybe not. Oh yeah, not quite. Alright. Uh, I'm already using so many hammers right out of the gate though. Uh, can I try like an iron jump? Do we have any of those? We got a line jump, we got a big iron jump. Let's check our colored in cards. Oh, we've got plenty of iron jumps that are colored in. Let's try one of these. Okay, cool. See, I don't know if you're able to jump on these guys with regular jumps, or if you need iron jumps. Because when I jumped on them just there, I mean, their pointy teeth weren't facing where Mario was jumping, so... As far as I know, it looks like I can just use normal jumps. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is sneaky. Oh, look at all this. Yeah, this is where some iron jumps are gonna come in handy. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we'll start with a double iron jump, double iron jump, then double normal jump. It looks like a plan to me. Man, as long as you don't mess up any of these inputs though, because otherwise the whole pattern's gonna be out of whack. And then it'll end up jumping on spiky boys. Okay. Well, no matter what happens now, I'll, I at least won't be doing that. Alright, nice. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Weaved that one. Let's get these guys, though. Early hits will probably help take care of these guys, too. See, now they're looking upwards, so... I'm going to assume that iron, you can only use iron jumps on these guys. Uh, so we'll start with a single one of those. Uh, we'll do... A double hammer. Followed by... A regular hammer? We'll see how far that takes us. I mean, I guess we're also seeing how far a single iron jump will take us, too. Alright, excellent, not bad. Okay, okay. Okay, okay! Hold on now. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be an Yeah, it's not enough. Maybe an excellent would have done the trick, but... Jeez. Okay, one more hammer it is. Oh, hey, Femi! Think of this! Well, no perfect bonus, but it's perfect in my eyes. <gasps> oh? Oh? Guys, you know what comes next. You know what comes next! Holy shit. Guys, we're so close. Am I really? Yeah, I was wondering how much I was gonna have to do still before that counted. Another poster. The Emerald Circus! Nail-biting edge of your seat fun! Oh, that's nice. <gasps> Ooh! 
Oh, these guys! Oh, these guys haven't been seen in a while. Before or since, come to think of it. Dino Rhino. These are some good-ass boys. Oh, look at them breathe fire! Oh, they're doing so good! You're doing amazing, sweetie. Okay, so I think standard jumps should take care of this, but I don't want to do a double because of the spiky boys that come afterwards. So let's see. Let's try this loadout and see how that works. Yeah, but I don't... Is that still going to go to the next enemy? Okay, it does. Cool. That was my main concern. Well, not quite. Now this guy's gonna burn me. Or just ram me. Uh, one more jump it is, I guess. Man, this guy's just constantly cooking, huh? Maybe that means that if you try to, like, walk up to him and try to use a hammer, then it'll ju you'll just, like, get burnt before you can even get close enough. So you need to use jumps. Guys, I am so excited to make the next level up. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, let's do... I'm already using like a lot of the basic shit that I planned for initially. Uh, I have a double hop slipper here, but I'm gonna hold off on it a little bit longer. Uh, let's try... Normal jump followed by an iron jump. Followed by another iron jump? Followed by a third iron jump. <laughs> let's see if that's enough. Is this Wii U? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, this game isn't on Switch. You can only play it on Wii U. They never ported it. Whether or not they will is still kind of up in the air, honestly. Given how, you know, like, I like this game, but given how most other people responded to it, I don't know if they feel any interest in porting this. Um, oh wait, hold on. Oh, I've got plenty of jumps to here. I have some worn out jumps I can use, actually. That should do the trick. Because, like, with, Don with uh, Donkey Kong... Uh, oh, jeez. I didn't even pull it off properly, and it still did worked. Uh, with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, that was, like, you know, a critical darling. That was, you know, genuinely one of the best platformers ever made. Uh, this? Not so much. Not so much a masterclass in, in its genre. Not so much a beloved Wii U title. Am I gonna jump into these guys to get them? There we go. Oh, he sticks the landing! Look at him go! Oh, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Oh, this looks like kind of a similar setup to what I was looking at before. Uh, so let's try two iron jumps. Oh no, I used double iron jumps before. So I'm gonna have to use... Well, I'll, pu I'll put the iron jumps in here for now and then organize them later. So that's two iron jumps. Then we'll do two standard jumps. Yeah, okay. And then we'll do normal jump, iron jump, normal jump, iron jump. Like that! And that should take us four Shy Guys in. <laughs> Good thing I bought all these fucking cards. This is chewing up a lot of them. Maybe that's the point. Alright. I like his one damage tickle. Uh oh, the slurp! Oh, he slurped! Is this the game people didn't like because it departed a lot from previous games, or was that Sticker Star? Um, you're thinking of Sticker Star, but Color Splash uh, contains a lot of the same design philosophies uh, and the general direction that Sticker Star went in. Um, I feel like even people that prefer uh, the older Paper Mario's over this, which you know is literally everybody, um, but even people that dislike it, I guess, to rephrase that. Um, will at the very least admit that this is much better than Sticker Star, but it is still... Oh shit, Mario. It's me, remember? You listened to my story that time on the Sunset Express. If it had to happen this way, I'm glad it was you. Aw, guys. Guys, that's fucked. 
See, Sticker Star doesn't have shit like that, though. This feels like more of an in-between of what people like about Paper Mario and Sticker Star. You know what I mean? It's Sticker Star, but in a better direction. But at its core, it is, you know, something that people don't like. You know, except for me. That's fucked? Yeah, it totally is! I love it, though. Uh, let's see, so let's try a double hammer and a blaze hammer, because I never want to use these cards. Although, maybe swap that? Let's see how far that takes us. Okay. Yeah, this should do the trick. There we go. Oh shit, what's what's going on here? This crumpled boy? Fish. Fish. Thanks for saving me. That's Batui's breath smelled like fish. Ugh. Toad number 47 of the Red Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Since they've been separated from the cabin, no part of the Until further notice. Gee, thanks! I still don't know what I need all those guys for, though. There's like 50 of them. <gasps> oh, fuck. Look at, look at these guys. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many of them. Ooh, the big line jump. What's going on here? Huh. Oh, of course. Oh, look at these guys. Wow, this is a good fucking... <laughs> this is a great theme. This I remember. This particular song. Uh-oh, I said it! Max, don't come for me! Oh, but I gotta read that poster. Oh, this is sneaky. Experience the Emerald Circus, starring the amazing and mysterious illusionists of the century. Is there? Oh, there is stuff over here. The big hop slipper. Guys, this music is so good. So, if are these going to be like one big group of three, or like if I beat this guy, does it defeat all of them on the world map, or is that going to be three separate battles? I have to scroll through my cards differently now because I bought a ton of blanks. Uh, I don't think we really have any more iron jumps, so I guess we'll stick with two double hammers? We'll see how far that takes us. Fight! Alright, alright, let's see. Let's see now. Man, I just gotta. I used to be good at getting excellence, I don't know what happened to me. I guess it's just because I just haven't played this, or streamed this in so long. Or both, for that matter. Cards ready? Flick. Yeah, I kind of regret taking as long as a hiatus as I did from this series. Um, oh jeez. Like, I did pretty much the entirety of Bayonetta and Sonic Adventure without streaming this game at all, so... It's... It's certainly been a while. Oh man, I'm kinda low on hammers too, come to think of it. Uh, battle spin maybe? I don't know. Let's try. And one, two, three, four. There's that double hammer that I crave so dearly. Okay. I don't want to use that straight away though. Let's see if there's any other cards that I can use on this guy. Oh, e hammers, duh. Let's get rid of that. That'll do the trick. Oh, well, <laughs> I missed the last hit, but it still worked. Oh yeah, it does take out the whole group. Perfect. Oh, and I got Batuis, and I got Fire Flowers. Oh, it's great. That's great. Let's try going from above this time. Oh god, <laughs> these guys will throw hammers to try to knock me down. I guess that's kind of the challenge of it, huh? Um, yeah, you gotta, like, dodge them. 
<gasps> Can I? Oof! Oh! What you bastard? Wait, can I squish? Oh, I can. I can squish. I don't even gotta deal with these guys. But I do gotta deal with coloring this stuff in. And saving this poor boy -o. Someone snuck up and treated me while I was watching those high wire jugglers. I'm out of here. It's kind of weird that sometimes it'll be like, oh, what happened? I don't remember. But then other toads will have like vivid memories of actually dying and they know what happened to them and how they died. I don't like that one bit. That's fucked. I'll just a one up. I'm still gonna go after these guys though, because I really want to get the next level up. Okay, let's see. Uh, the double iron jump we just got. Oh, we're, we're, oh, this is a hurl hammer. Uh, we can use. I don't. Let's use some of those fire flowers and ice flowers that we got, huh? Let's try that. I really like this game's aesthetic. Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely the furthest uh, that the, uh, they've ever pushed that whole you know, the paper and Paper Mario. Uh, let's try two fire flowers, just in case. Or fire and ice, I don't know, why not? Sure! Ice is bad for plants, right? Oh, okay, no, we can still use a little bit more. It looks kind of like real paper craft. Yeah, uh, they definitely do a really good job at, like, uh, making sure that it really looks like uh, everything here is made out of paper. Um, even in, th there's some like concept art you can unlock, and they really like go into a lot of detail about like how these mechanisms, how these like different paper mechanisms actually like fold together, and how they're like, you know, if they were paper craft, how they would be crafted. Like you see all these little tabs and folds, and these little supports on the insides of the structures. It's really cool. I love the art style that this game has taken on. Uh, let's try a double E camera and a fire flower. I mean, like, the sooner I can finish getting these things out of my deck, the better. Oh, I still have a second go at this, too. Okay! Oh, that one's perfect. Alright, and then this should take care of the YouTube. Cool. Oh, and the perfect bonus. Coolio. Alright, uh, there's nothing else here, is there? Hey, it looks like there might be something here. Hold on. Oh, no, I thought for some reason I could go under this. What I for sure can do is go over this, though. I just gotta avoid these boys. <laughs> oh, this is sneaky. Oh, nice. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was the stage curtain. That's that's cute. So there is supposed to be like three paint stars in this one stage. I haven't seen any opportunity for to really go off of the beaten path. I wonder why that is. Oh my god. <gasps> this is a fucking <laughs> death trap. Oof! But I want the card. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a lot going on here. Oh, just this guy? Uh, do we have any double jumps? Because if we do, that would be perfect for this guy. Oh, uh, we have some double hop slippers. Oh, we have plenty of double jumps. Let's go for that. Uh-oh. Is it still doable? Indeed it is! Okay. Is this game very linear or something? Yeah, so the, that I feel... well... I'll, I'll, let me get, take a second to try and figure out how to explain the structure of this game to somebody who's not familiar with it. Oh, this guy's holding another toad. Um, basically, instead of it being like Thousand Year Door, where it's like one big world and everything's connected, and you 
go from place to place by physically walking there. This game operates on a world map structure. Um, so you start a stage and then to, you finish that part of the story by, oh jeez, I have to like really yank on this hard. Come on! Oof! The trapeze is really difficult because you've got to pull off sweet poses and moves in midair. If I had just a little more time, I could have been the greatest trapeze artist of our generation. Toad number 48 of the Red Arsis Squad, a point for duty. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, usually there's like a main objective you can complete, and that's by collecting the mini paint star. Do I have gotta. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But some levels will have multiple paint stars, which means that there's multiple objectives. Sometimes that means just finding a secret in that area and then opening up an alternate path on the world map. It's usually just, you know, unlocking the additional shortcuts and stuff. I don't think there's really any optional stages in this game. Uh, so I guess in that sense, it's linear. Um, but within each of these stages, there's a lot of different secrets and, you know, fun little uh, story things. Um, Sometimes there's backtracking, but I don't know if you can call that linear. Like, sometimes you'll need, like, a special thing card, and you can either go back to the place where you first found that- Oh, jeez. Where you first found that item, or you have to just buy it uh, with the coins you get in battle. I certainly want to describe this game as non-linear, if that's what you're asking. Let's see. Uh, let's use another double jump on this guy. That seems pretty effective. So yeah, you go through the stages collecting the mini paint stars, and then uh, eventually you come across uh, the big paint star, which are like, I guess, you know, like the crystal stars in the Thousand Year Door, you know, they're, they're the big collectible thingies that are the end of the chapter. Um, and we have five out of six of those, and we're coming up on the sixth one, I think after this stage. Um, oh, this looks like maybe an alternate path. Hold on now. See, now, now here's some fucking exploration. Which way do we go? Feast your eyes on fantastic fire-breathing beasts of the Emerald Circus! Whammo! I'm gonna go this way. The other path seemed like the optional thing, and this seems like the mandatory thing, so I'm gonna go with this first and then come back for that. Oh yeah, thanks for the heads up with the hearts. I'm definitely gonna need that. I'll oh, use like Boomerang Bros performing this time. Holy shit. What a show. I gotta knock this over. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Holy shit. How am I gonna cross this? Man, but that, that, that's the thing, though. As much as people love the Thousand Year Door, I don't know if I would call that non-linear either. Um, ultimately, you are kind of railroaded along like specific paths, so I don't know if... It's more linear than Thousand Year Door, but I don't know if that's, you know, going away from something that was non-linear to begin with. The Emerald Circus! Thanks for painting this poster. <laughs> so how do I move up this bridge? Oh, I must have to pull that. So I have to cross the bridge now. Gotcha. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Wait, hold on now. Now I can just lower the curtain. Thanks for the show, game. Alright, well, I was expecting that to be a nightmare, but I guess, I guess, the problem solved. Look, the problem is Oh, I have to keep pulling this. Look, the problem is over! There we go. Eh? Oh, don't you do it. Oh! Oh! You wouldn't dare. Glad you can make it today, folks. The encore is about to begin. Please put your hands together for this exclusive encore performance by the legendary Peter Bros. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> I love that the battle music uses this theme. Oh, listen to this. And the other thing had like a bit of like an old timey filter on it, but this is like the the actual song itself. I'm sorry. Peace, Max. It seems hard to make a non-linear game with the traditional story structure. Yeah. 
Aw, oh, these guys are so cute! I don't want to hurt them. I guess they use just like a bunch of hammers. You guys like hammers, don't you? Let's try. Oh, hey, that's a thing I haven't talked about. Uh, my mom got like a new dog, uh, and it's been it's been something. It's uh been noisy. Come to think of it, that actually happened, like, <laughs> literally yesterday, but, uh, that wasn't related to why I took a, a day off. Well, that seems to have done the trick. Oh, I forgot how to use hurl hammers, though. Hold on. Oh, I hope this is an overkill. I always forget how good, <laughs> uh, cards these things are. Come on, come on. Oh, almost, almost. Let's see if this, this uh, will do the trick. Oh, just barely. Barely made it. This was just a sneak peek of the face-melting spectacles on display at the Emerald Circus. Please check out the Emerald Circus just up ahead and follow us on social media. Oh, well, they're dead now. They said the circus is just up ahead. Can we go, Mario? Please, 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 please. No. Thanks for the emote, Femi. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah, so then you collect the star, you finish the stage, and then it opens up a new space in the world map. Some people dislike the inclusion of the world map, but I actually think it's great. Uh, it, a Thousand Year Door had a pretty big backtracking issue, especially towards the, later, the latter half of the game. And just being able to instantly go to any part of this game that you want through this structure, that's handy. I enjoy that. I guess some people just don't like the interruption. Oh shit, yeah, this is the big paint star right here. Oh, but there's more stuff going on here at Moss Rock Theater. Uh, how long have I been streaming here? Do I want to finish this chapter tonight, or... Oh no, there's absolutely time for it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try to finish the chapter, and if there's extra time, we'll go back to those paint stars. We just did that stage anyways. The Emerald Circus, Luigi. Ooh, a giant tent in the middle of the forest. This must be the Emerald Circus, right? I remember that from when Mike streamed it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, is this all the... No, there's one more blank spot over here. Oh yeah, and also the battle system is structured around cards instead of just having moves that you can use. That's another change that people don't like, but I'm not sure whether or not you're familiar with that. It's pretty much the, just the sticker system of Sticker Star, but with actual balance and an actual purpose of the combat, whereas with Sticker Star you could just avoid all encounters and be fine. Hello! Welcome to the world-renowned Emerald Circus. The show will start as soon as the house fills up. We only perform in front of several crowds, but you're the only one here. Everyone else must be stuck in traffic. Although, I thought there was someone here a minute ago. There we go. There was a limit of 50 tickets for Shy Guys, and they're all sold out. I heard the ringleaders were wearing a special surprise for this performance. I wonder what it is. Guys, I fucking love coloring shit in this game. This is the performer's entrance. You a performer? No, I didn't think so. Oh, <gasps> my friend! Thanks a ton for rescuing me, Mario. I went to pet a Yoshi, but it suddenly chewed me up and spit me out. I'm the leader of the Red Rescue Squad. I wish I could see in chat, but I've got to get to the rendezvous spot pronto. Ooh, that's a nice little card. 
Now these guys aren't trained, so we can't put them in the circus yet. Their tongues are a liability. Yoshi Lon Caterpina! Can I... Oh shit. You're free! Wait, what? Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Listen here, Dino Dragon Things. It's not okay to go around eating people whole. Vor? I mean, you don't even know where Mario has been. I'd go brush my teeth if I were you. Oh shit, good emote. Hmm. Well, I can't get past this, and I think I need to free the Yoshis to get to whatever the, that back area is, but I get I get I get licked, so I'll move along. Oh hello again. Thanks again for sending me back there, Mario. One of our informants told me that there's a big paint star inside this circus tent. The Red Rescue Squad is gearing up to bust in and seize it, but none of my 49 squad members have shown up yet. If you see any Red Rescue Squad members at our headquarters in Port Prisma, please send them my way. Over and out. Okay, well I guess I'll fucking leave then. Sure. Doesn't look like there's anything else to explore here either. What is it with these games in Vor? Come to think of it, the other... The Mario and Luigi RPG series has, has uh, dabbled with that too, hasn't it? Hey guys, remember the chapter where you get eaten and then you get pooped out? Oh no, that's good, that's good, that's my favorite part. That's my favorite part. Bowser's Inside Story was literally just entirely that. Uh, what else was there? Was there anything in that first Mario and Luigi RPG? The toads are this way. The Bowser's Insights one, yeah. Was there... I remember when Mike streamed it, there was like some weird fetishy stuff in that, but I don't think it was Vor specifically. Please tell me I have all the toads. Attention! Red Rescue Toads! Report to your captain and Emerald Circus on the double! Understood. Over and out. Please tell me that's 49! Anyone of you guys want to count? Also the dragon from one of the other Paper Mario games. Oh god, yeah, he wanted you to, like, smell his feet or whatever. Here's the latest Rescue Squad info. I've heard of the Rescue Squad leader. We're still missing two, fuck, of the Red Rescue Squad members. Here's the breakdown. One in Sunset Express. One in Green Energy Plant. Dismissed! Oh god. Alright. Looks like we're gonna be doing a bit of backtracking. Yeah, say what you will about color splash, but there's no fucking feet in this game. Number 15. Bone Tail Foot Lettuce. The last thing you would want in your Paper Mario RPG is someone's foot fungus. But little did you know, that may be exactly what you get. Where would there be a red toad missing here? <laughs> Maybe there was one on the train that I just, like, forgot to rescue? Where could he be? All the way back here. Isn't Bone Tail the, um... I don't think Bone Tail is the right dragon, though. It's something tail. Hook Tail! Hook Tail, Foot Lead Ass. There we go. Gotta make sure my shit posting is accurate. Ooh, don't mind if I do. But are we gonna get the train song that slaps? Thanks, Mario! Well, the whole train's right here. How do I get aboard? Where's the missing toad? Because I could get on the train when it was like a runaway thing, but... Yeah, I don't know how to board this anymore. Wait a second. Did, did he say Sunset Express or Toad Trainworks? I'm gonna see a little bit longer if there's a way to board this train at all, now that it's like, not in motion anymore, but... It doesn't seem like it. There's an unfurl block there, but 
I already did what that's for. I might double check what that toad said. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get back onto the Sunset Express now that it's all finished. Oh, apparently that 100 percent of all the blank spots, though. So at least we did that. Yeah, I'm gonna consult that toad again, just to make sure, so that we're not doing any, like, aimless wandering. There's a couple of train-related stages going on here, so... I want to make sure I get the right one. So it was toad train work that was missing one, and... The green energy power plant that was missing one. Okay. Specifically Sunset Express! And one in the green energy plant. And that was Sunset Express that I just looked at, right? Okay, I'll double check to make sure that that's the Sunset Express. Let's see. Marmalade Valley, the Rochambeau Temple 2, Kiwano Temple, the Golden Coliseum, Toad Train Works, Mustard Cafe, Tangerino Grill, the Sunset Express. So there's definitely one here, but I might check out the green energy plant first, because I don't know what to do there. I at least have some clue what to do here, because here I just didn't explore much, like at all. So I probably have a better idea of what to do and where to go in the green energy plant than I would with Sunset Express. Hopefully it's not too much trouble to get that little guy back though. <laughs> I was all set to go to the circus. Alright. Let's get to snipping. What if there was a toad in the gamer world? Okay. So before I did like a bunch of side shit and that ended up being the start, but what if I just try to go like the linear route that it intended me to do? Will, it, will, will there just be a toad at the end of that? I'm gonna give it a shot at the very least. There's gotta be something at the end of the stage. At the very least there's some cards though. Is this guy gonna- oh, he totally is. Look at that. Oh yeah, this looks new. Oof! Hey, watch it! At least you get more of this tune. Oh, wait. Hmm. I was just looking at a triple hammer. I think that would be a good card for this. I love that the little uh, musical cues are also remixed like this. That's such a good touch. Nope! Oh god. <laughs> I blocked way too early! Okay, and then like a single jump should be the last. Like that. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's see what lies beyond. Oh shit, more hammer scraps. Yeah, so if we go here, what do we see? What do we find? There's like a whole other room over here? Oh god, look at this. Okay, well we have four cards at a time to use now. So let's see, uh, I'm gonna start with the weak jump. Uh, then I'm gonna go for a double hop slipper. Where do I have those stored? Okay, we're gonna use... Maybe a... No, we'll use a double hop slipper. Uh, then another double hop slipper, then... A double jump. Well, yeah, double jump. Oh, let's color in that uh, first weak jump, too. Alright, let's try this.
Yep, that's exactly what I thought it would happen. Okay. Oh, this is actually, like, more than I needed. Oh, I didn't need to use the double jump at all. Oops. In fact, I hardly even needed the, the, the double hop slipper. I kind of wanted to keep that, but okay. Hmm. Oh, you, you've got to be able to get something if you, if you do the thing with the white block. Hold on now. Ho ho. I see. I'm wary of your tricks. Ho ho. What? Okay, well maybe I've got to stick to that for a little bit longer, but... Let's see what's at the end of the stage. Oh no, it's just that. So there's nothing at the at the standard exit, but let's let's try the white block one more time here. You may have just gotta like keep moving here. Yeah, because yeah, now I'm behind the background. So if I'm able to go around the flagpole, ho ho! There's a refill, and there's a pipe. Where does this lead? Hello? Any toads around here? <gasps> oh god. Oh, I gotta like time this, huh? These things do a lot of damage. Also, aren't these Super Mario 1 sprites again? You can't just mix shit like that all willy nilly. Also, these things are very difficult to avoid on a 2D plane. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope I'm going the right way. I hope there's a rescue toad somewhere around here. Okay, so this is just one guy. Do we have any double jumps? We have a triple jump, which seems a little bit overkill, but I'll go for it anyways. Kinda wish I could've used that double jump from earlier, but oh well. There we go! Well now, let's see what's back here. Another flagpole? Can I go around it this time? No, I can't, and it doesn't look like there's anything back there this time either. Shoot. Huh, so what do I do then? What's the point of going back here? Maybe the secret's back down here? Where the hell am I gonna find a rescue toad? There's an upper area though, hold on. Oh, you know what? I thought that this was a gap, but I didn't I wasn't thinking in 3D. Holy shit. Holy crap, Lois. Let's try dropping down here first, just in case there's a toad inside this block. No, it's just paint. Fair enough. This is also a Mario 1 sprite! Source your shit, guys! Yeah, maybe there's something going on here. This is really fucking with me. Oh, well, not anymore. Yeah, that's a little bit easier. Okay, well now let's go 3D again. Oh! Oh god! I mean, at least we found him, but the poor thing's been tortured here! Oh, shit. Alright, well now... You know what, let's use that Koopa Troopa that we just got. Let's use... That Triple Jump. And let's use... Double Hammer, Big Hammer. Oh, I'm sorry. Huge Hammer. Alright, let's play. Let's play! Oh, nice! Oh god, I wasn't looking. 
the Koopas are good. I wish you got like more enemy cards in general, or that they use that concept a little bit more. Because it's really fucking cool, but they never like do anything with it. Okay, well that doesn't... I was kind of hoping to get the, the very last sumo at the back of the line a little, a little bit more, but... Close enough, holy shit. And that's what a nice does, Christ. Mario, it's really you! I thought I saw you earlier, but I'm pretty sure I was just hallucinating. You were all blocky and weird. Anyway, I chased the green mini paint star in here, but that boomerang bro was hot on my tail! Let's get back to the real world ASAP! I'm going out on ahead to the flagpole. See you there! Ah, that's what that was there for. Okay. I guess I'll go back and see him then. Let's also get on this side before we go back to 2D. Okay. Back to the flagpole. So that's... I'm assuming he means this one. Not the one that we skipped earlier. Oh god. These things do like way more damage than they should. 30 is a lot. Especially for a fucking... I'm gonna die before I can even reach the flagpole. Especially for a world map hazard. And you can't... I don't think you can heal outside of battle. Let's try using a mushroom right now. Uh, let's see. Mushroom. Makes you feel better. Just a thing when you're tired. No, I think you can only play them when you're in battle. That's lame. I guess that's why you, they gave you hearts in the world map. Ah! I mean, ah, there you are. Come on, let's get out of here. You can't use the Mario 1 flagpole at the end of a mile 3 level, is that right? So glad to be packed back in the paper world. Being in that monitor really freaks me out. Toad number 46 of the Red Rescue Squad, reporting for duty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain and Emerald Circus immediately. Alright, so there's one more left. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that covers the one in the uh, green energy plant. For some reason, there's still 0% of the colorless spots restored, but... That leaves just the one in uh, the Sunset Express. But I don't know how to go about this. Where do I find this baby boy? Because before, there were a ton of toads on the Sunset Express, but if I missed one, how do I go back to get it? I can at least get this, whatever it is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, like... <sighs> I don't know how to get back on. Let's try talking to some people. Oh, right, this letter... Okay. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Literally the first person I talked to. Oh, and we get this song again, too. I'm sorry. Peace, Max. Okay. Oh god, there's Shy Guys in here still? Dying. I don't have the fucking health to do this. I gotta get into a fight and heal up, but not with these guys. It's probably one of these rooms, but... Fuck. Oh, that's not too much damage, actually. You know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll come in right after you then, huh? How would you like that? Oh, fuck! <laughs> this is where I die! Okay, I gotta keep an eye out here. This guy tries, tries to, like, fake you out. Gotcha. Wait, no! <laughs> I'm trying to... Go okay, moving along. There was a toad in that third room, so maybe that's... Because when the other guy was, like, opening the door, uh, there wasn't really anything else inside of the room he was in that you could see. So maybe it's just somewhere else. I gotta get into, like, a, di a different kind of fight here, where I can actually heal. Not ones where only they can hurt me, and not vice versa. I used to getting some paint, but that's not really worth much. Where could this last tone be? In a in a barrel? I don't know. Here? Where? I do not understand. 
At least there's some health here. Oh jeez. Wait! I see someone in the in that room over there. I don't know if that's the conductor or a red rescue toad though. Let's take the roof. Let's take the roof. Okay, let's go around this. Let's go around you. Let's go around you. Let's save just in case. <laughs> Wait, what? No, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, well, that's how you leave the train, I guess. So that was definitely the conductor. I mean, unless there's a red rescue toad at the end here at Starlight Cape. All they said was Sunset Express, so it doesn't specify what. At least you know that that's the conductor now. But it didn't specify whether it meant, like, literally on the train or anywhere in this stage. It doesn't hurt to look around here, I guess. I'm not seeing any red rescue toads, though. They usually, like, wear red and have, like, a, a little bandana. Yeah, that's just where the big paint star was. Hum! Yeah, all these boys are wearing blue. Can I talk to any of you to go back on the train? Do I have to do anything cutout related with that thwomp? Er, er. No, okay. Yeah, There's a cute little shooting star there. You're the face of the Sunset Express now, Mario! But, but how do we get back on? What an engine, you can just feel its power. The Sunset Express really does look beautiful when the setting sun. Another shooting star. I guess I'll get the big paint star. Or I'll just, well, if I get the big paint star again, then I might get healed up for free. Either way, it's back to the world map. Yeah. Oh, it actually doesn't heal you up. It just literally acts as a pause and then go to the world map. Okay, sure. Hmm. I'll look around the, the yard a little bit more, but it's, my guess would be that they're on the train because that's where I found all the other red rescue toads. My guess would be that it's one of those shy guys with the doors, though. Yeah, there's another, like, whole area off to the right here. Beyond the train. It could be over there, I don't know. Let's go find out. Yeah, so if I go up the water tower over here, but just go to the right instead, there's, like, a whole other space. Maybe there's some boys over here. Hello? Any toads around here? I mean... You're not quite who I'm looking for. Oh, of course you thought you would fix it up. And I can't break any of these boxes, so now I gotta go all the way back. Cool. I mean, now we know, I guess, so it's gotta be on the train, but where? There's so many places that that little guy can be. That's gonna be a real pickle to track down. I guess I'll just talk to that same toad from before again. I'm gonna check those shot guy rooms for real this time, though. Let's ride. And hopefully I can get into a battle where I'm allowed to heal. At the very least, I have 50 HP this time, so... If I do end up getting beat up a lot by those Shy Guys, it'll take a lot more to take me down. Yeah, don't you just have to open the door when they're not looking? There's no indicator to open it, though. There's no cutouts. You can't really hammer the door. I don't think you can enter these first two rooms. Uh-oh. Right, though. I remember now. Um, the third one didn't try to check on you at all. It was just a bouncing head below the window, and you, you just had to open the door and interrupt them. 
So I don't think it's related to this. Oh. Almost got me that time. What if I closed this door? What if I went inside? No. Why can't I close it? Close. Well, not with me inside. I, mean, a pr I could have sworn that there was a problem to do it when I was on the outside, but okay. Hmm. Well, that doesn't quite yet solve our little mystery now, does it? It's gotta be somewhere on this train. I don't think I, s I got any other red recipe toads that weren't on the train. Where the hell could it be? Let's try boarding this roof. I can't leave any stones unturned. It's a stone, Luigi! Okay. Yo, yeah, let's get off of that gamepad. Like, I was already up here before, too, and I didn't find anything, so I don't know what's up. Well, at least there's a battle I can heal up in, I guess. Oh, jeez. The fucking... Don't you start with me. Uh-oh. It's a six-string power surge. Alright, let's see. Let's use just a standard big mushroom, uh, then two hurl hammers, or rather a single double hurl hammer, then we'll use, do we have any hop slippers? I don't think we do. We'll use a double jump, followed by a, a weak jump. We'll use a weak jump and then a double jump. Like that. Let's see. Okay, kids. Let's see. Oh, did the Sunbrero guy leave? Interesting. Oh no, he's back. I kind of meant to use this on the Paracuba, but okay. Maybe I can, like, kick him into the next guy, though. No, not quite. No, we're gonna need another turn! Please don't. do that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Is he gonna run now? Oh, of course he is. Of course he is. Okay, let's try a double jump on this guy. Then. Just a double jump. Ah, oh, not quite. Just, just barely... There we go, yeesh! Well, that, of course, that only takes care of the one. And, of course, that there's another pair just up ahead. Can I avoid them, though? Oh, I totally can. Yeah, what if I just continue this way? What can I find? Nothing! Of course, of course! I already did what that unfurl block needed me to do, so hitting that won't do anything. Fighting that guy won't do anything. And fighting this guy won't do anything either, but here we are. No, it's the exact same setup, of course. Man, this is more frustrating than finding that other rescue toad that was in, um, the Cobalt base. Because even as bullshit as that was, I at least didn't have to go through as many battles as I did here. This feels a little silly. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll try this? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get things over with. Oh, and of course it doesn't hit the last two. Oh, these are so ineffective then. I 
I just use like a, oh my god, I just use like a ton of good cards as, a, as like a, oh fuck it, I'll just use the better cards and get this over with faster, and then of course that ends up doing nothing. And literally, everything I just did now was undone. And it's a bird, I books it. Oh, you messed with the wrong boy today. We're going all big cards today. Let's see how this works. Okay, 40. These are like <laughs> big hurl hammers, so... Oh, those are just like instant kills. Holy shit. And of course it doesn't do anything to the Paracuba, but that's why we have this. Yeah, uh, a bye bye I like how the wind carries them away, because we're on like a moving train. Oh, yeesh. Oh, come on. Alright, so no rescue toads up there. No taken. Yeesh. Going up here makes you go back. Where is this last toad? I can't go any further than this, otherwise it takes me to Starlight Cape. And we know that there's no red rescue toads there. These guys are all just hanging out. Maybe it's on the outside of one of these cars. Hold on, I haven't tried this. Some of these links are, like, broken. Maybe I can find somebody out here? No, this is just a way to sneak around this particular car. Uh, the one over here is just to get back onto the roof, but maybe there's another car where I'm able to go outside. There might be a toad there. Worth a look. Okay, so I don't think I can go outside on this one. Or on this one. Oh, jeez. But then this takes us right back to square one. And then we can't go around these. There's no way to separate the cars, there's no... I'm not seeing any, like, secrets around here. Unless I fucking jump for it, I don't know. Guys, I might look this up. I'm kind of lost here. I've already sunk a lot of time into this. I, I don't want to... I still want to finish this chapter. I still think if I go over a little bit, then I can do it. And then the finale can just be next time, but... Fuck. This one always gets me. Yeesh. I mean, there's this briefcase that had a bunch of other red rescue toads in it, but... I can't open these windows manually. I don't know what I'm missing here. That's the thing! There was like 30 toads on this train! I don't know which one I didn't get! And it's like just a single one that's missing. Where could it be? I'm at like such a loss. Maybe somewhere in here? Can I check the drawers? Can I... No? I already talked to all these guys when I first came here. And then this is the end of the train. Alright, you know what? Let's take a seat here. Quote unquote seat. You guys can enjoy the slap of music. And I will look this up. There is a single rescue toad standing between us and finishing this chapter. I will not let it do it. Okay, game facts. Sure. It doesn't look like there's anything here in the little, um, 
in the fucking, uh, in this thread that I just clicked, uh, it seems like, oh, well, did you check this? Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, never mind, I found it here. It was this obvious thing that had, like, 30 toes inside of it. Uh, color splash walkthrough. What do you got for me? Okay, mini star one. I have to fucking manually read this. Okay. What if I, like, command F, toad, and find all instances of that? Toad tree works. Toad in the pulley cart. Walk into the first cart and pull off the red rescued squad member off the door. Okay, I already got that one. Talk to rescue toad number two, then open the third door to fight a shy guy. He did it. The crumpled wad is a poor toad number three. Destroy the boxes in the fourth cart to find a shunned guy running around. Get rid of him. Save toad number four. Walk outside to the door that the VIP cart is locked in and there's no way onto the roof of the cart. There's a red barrel that needs unfurling. Uh, go to where the guardrail is broken. Go on cut-up mode to go on top of the train. Run towards the left and pick a fight with either the left or right sides in the Monty Mosa fight. The reason is that they're... Okay, unfurl block. Okay. Before you hit the block, go a little further to fight toe number five stuck to the roof with some tape. Using the unfurled power, run to the right and drop to the open area of the train and hit the barrel to cre create a path. Hold on now. Hold on now. What 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 are, what are what are we getting at here? Rest in peace, Bulby. What the fuck is a Bulby? Toad number five. Related to this. Let's snip it. The spike squashing him. You can save. Toads are in a jam. Oh, I have to... I'm still reading this walkthrough here. I still don't know quite what I'm looking for. Okay. At least I have a clear path here. It says that there's one, like, to the left here. Possibly. There's one taped to the roof. But I think I already got that one. There's no other... Yeah, okay. Just double-checking. Okay. So, there is that one. Toad number six, there's a spike. I did see a spike on the roof this way. Do I have to beat them to get the last toad? Would it be the first time that they've locked collecting a red rescue toad behind defeating a random ass enemy? Hold on. <gasps> Something's under here! Hold on! <gasps> My friend! He was really heavy! Toad number 40, the red rescue squad reporting for duty! Oh, fucking finally! Let's get the hell out of here. It's always the dumbest shit when it comes to the last rescue toad that I'm missing. That's kind of BS for story progression. Oh boy, you don't even know that half of it. Um, there was another one in Cobalt Base, and I think I actually clipped that moment because it's just a normal ass shy guy that's blue in a place where you get the blue paint star, so you know everything there is blue. So it didn't seem unusual. And for context, in that situation, I was looking for blue rescue toads. Um, so I go up to it, and at that point, I'm leveled up enough where... Because this game has a thing where if you hit an enemy, if you start a battle by jumping on or by jumping on or hammering an enemy, it'll just skip the battle and give you the, 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 the loot. If it's just like a one-hit thing. And it was that situation for all the enemies in the base. So I'm, I'm looking around, I'm digging through all the rooms, you know, I've gone everywhere. I've checked every corner and I don't see anything. And so I go, all the Red Rescue Toads have gathered, okay. So I go, and I look all around, and I and I just, you know, I'm like, like, maybe this guy. Maybe this guy. Maybe I haven't gone this way. I'll check here again, just to make sure. And I find this blue shy guy, and I hammer him. Except it doesn't instantly kill him. It starts a battle instead, and I'm like, wait a second, what does this mean? What could this mean? Does and so I finish the battle, and it turns out that the shy guy was a toad all along, and I'm like, 
And there's no indication of it, too. It just happens to be the case. Toad number 49. What's up with the green one saluting all the time? This isn't the army. Toad number 48. After experiencing the freedom of flying through the air, I think I'm going to start my own circus. Holy moly, I just watched that clip. Yeah. Bad mood. I think I'm going to start my own circus. If I recall correctly, each of these 50 toads has a unique dialogue. I saw a circus troupe at Moss Rock Theater, too. I wonder if that was a rehearsal. 46. I was in that bleepy bloopy digital world for so long, I'm starting to think in code. Toad number 45, the Red Horses go out of pretty beauty. Ah, the Red Pepper Hot Spring is the best. I'm so relaxed. Toad number 44. Sometimes you just gotta let it all hang out. Little, little. Oh, that's 42. You're a good listener, Mario. Everyone tells you their problems, but not many people stop to ask, how's Mario doing? Okay, but you, though. I want you. 43. Thanks again for rescuing me from Dragon. <clears throat> 41. I live a totally carefree life. Nothing bothers me at all. Well, except for the soul-crushing burden of trying to stay optimistic. Toad number 40. Riding on top of the train was kind of rough, but the stargazing was worth it. Toad number 39. I'm more excited about the illusions than anything else. I hope they blow my mind like... Psh Toad number 38. Those fire-breathing dinosaurs? I've never seen anything like them before. 37. I haven't seen a circus since I was but a wee spore. Oh, that's a little upsetting. Don't, don't refer to yourself as a spore. It was so cramped in that trunk. My neck and shoulders are as stiff as cardboard. I need a massage. 35. Hey, Mario. Remember me? Toad? From that other game we were in together? Holy shit. The lore. Why can't it start until they say, sell every last seat? Maybe it's not profitable until the tent is full. 33. Thanks for defeating those creeps who were running wild inside the Sunset Express. 32. I was on the very bottom of the 30-toed stack in that train trunk, meaning I was the 30th to come out. 31. I was the second from the bottom out of the 30 of us stuffed in that train trunk, meaning I was the 29th to come out. Toad number 30. Must have been pretty cool to see all 30 of us toads explode out of that trunk, huh? Oh, this is the cool thing. This is the, rather the same thing. 29. So I spent the majority of my vacation stuck inside a musty old trunk with a bunch of sweaty toads. Righteous. Toad number 28. All of us toads stacked on one another in that trunk must have looked like some kind of toad notebook. A toad book, if you will. Is this the toad book? Okay. I can't tell who's looking at me and who's not sometimes. Larry totally ruined our plans to save the day, but at least we get to enjoy the circus. We flew out of the trunk real quickie. Quickie. Quickly. Sounds like a pretty good circus act, if you ask me. Did I talk to this one? Okay. Did I talk to this one? I feel like I skip one sometimes. Because sometimes two of them can look at you at the same time. Toe 25. I don't really mind waiting in long lines. It gives me time to contemplate my mortality. Toad number 24, the runners just go out and part of beauty. Mario, are you helping us with your mission? Get your head in the game. Hey, get in the gang and play. Toad 23. Mario, sir, I'm a huge fan. Thank you for taking the time to talk to a normal toad like me with no unique traits or discernible, or discernible characteristics. I heard the Mushroom Kingdom doesn't have rescue squads. Sounds like a dangerous place. Should have brought some Hanafuda cards or something. Mario, you're definitely squad leader material. You should join us. I really wanted to join the blue rescue squad, but I'm a red toad. Say la vie. Hey, guy in front of me, quit dozing off. Toad 17, I'm tired. The 30 of us all joined the rescue squad at the same time. At least we're sticking together. Yeah, these guys are a little easier to see who's looking at who. Want to know why I joined the rescue squad? The red uniforms. That guy from the Shy Guys are talking about. I wonder if it's, an, if it's another one of Bowser's protégés. You've already beaten Morton, Iggy, Ludwig, Wendy, and Larry. Just two Koopalings left. Not you. You. Toad 12. Rescue, oh, rescue, row, rescue, beep, beep, rescue, oh, rescue, rescue, hey. I don't fucking know. Hey, shit, song! 
This is just between you and me, but the squad leader said he wants me to replace him when he retires. As long as someone's being rescued, we've done our job, even if that someone is us. I haven't rescued a single person since I joined the rescue squad. Ah, oh, this line. I'd rather be back in the trunk. Rescue Squad at number 12 sings the most amazing rescue song. I still get chills every time I hear it. Yeah, I... Uh, same. I'm really good at seeing through illusions. I'll definitely see through this, too. Toad number 5. I noticed that my thumb is angled slightly more inward than normal when I salute. I should get that checked out. It was really quiet in the trunk, so I was able to devote my thoughts to the, uh, to the existential paradox of being trapped in this trunk of mortality. How come all these toads think about is dying? That trunk smelled like old socks. Well, more like new socks than an old person wore. No matter what I do, I'm number two. Now I know what Luigi feels like. Toad number one of the Red Rescue Squad reporting for duty. I'm the first in line, which means that I'll be the very first to go inside. Yep, it feels good to be number one. Roll call. All 50 members of the Red Rescue Squad have gathered. All that's left now is to wait until the show opens. The Emerald Circus will start as soon as we've got a sellout crowd. Oh yeah, now that's an audience. It's gonna be a full house. Thank you all for waiting. Please go in and take your seats. Holy shit! This is it, Luigi! At least this music's back. Well, wow, so this is a circus? It's so lively in here. Every seat is full and the audience is giddy with anticipation. I've never actually been in the circus before, so I'm super excited. Ladies and gentlemen, toads and shy guys, plumbers of all ages, you are moments away from experiencing the Emerald Circus in all its glory. Without further ado, allow me to introduce our first act. It's the show everyone's talking about, Lemmy's Super Illusion Show! He! Look at his stupid fucking smile! <laughs> Spotlight! Now the ringmaster here is just your average garden variety shy guy. Yes, you. Don't look so surprised. Lemmy's fucking cute. Look at his little dance. I love him. Now feast your eyes on this! My magic wand! Phenomenal arcane power in a slim and user friendly stick. Now you see him? It's hard to find a difference between my toad voice and my Lenny voice. You, sir, have you seen him? Thank you, thank you, you're easily entertained. And now... The big paint star! That's right, that's exactly right. It's a shiny green big paint star. Now watch closely. That boy is dead. That's a different one. <laughs> the big paint star is dead. Game over. Hee hee hee. Now where could the big paint star have gone? You there, with the ridiculous mustache and the rusty can. Where do you think that extra special big paint star ran off to? He didn't need that, did you? <laughs> Holy shit, look at him go. Oh god. Where did the paint star go? That lemmy made it disappear before he escaped. 
What? Lemmy disappeared? That's not in the script. Aw, oh, jeez, oh no. We gotta stall. Get out there and do something. Um, hey, hey folks. We're experiencing some uh, technical difficulties. It seems that our main performer has vanished. <laughs> so please enjoy this unscheduled intermission. Boy, that Lemmy guy must be Bowser's underling. I knew it the moment I saw that mug of his. I can still smell the big paint star, so it must be close. Let's go find it. How do you even do that? Can I go... Oh, I can talk to these guys? I wonder if that magic wand is really magic. Looks fake to me. You can, like... Is there multiple dialogue things here? There is. How did he do that? He just vanished into thin air. Boo! No intermissions! I want my money back. Can I go on the side here? No, we're good. Okay, so it's three per side, I think. There's an intermission already? This thing just started! Oh, I think there's more... No, it's just this and then this. Okay. More illusions! I love illusions! Bring back the illusions! I think it's just three on each side. I liked the part where the guy disappeared and then he was gone and then he never came back. <laughs> okay, so where do we go from here? Maybe now we're allowed to go backstage? I like this little shy guy is running around and bowing to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, let's try going backstage now. The show's begun. Maybe they're not looking for performance. Oh, God. I had no idea that Lemmy was going to vanish like that. What a showman! Oh, yeah, everyone out here is fucking panicking! The show got interrupted, and the audience is getting restless. Someone's gotta entertain them until the next performer is ready. Yoshi! Hey! Long time no see, Mario! <laughs> Thanks for helping me escape that haunted inn! Just thinking about that place gives me the creeps. I owe you big time. I came here to bust my friends out of this cage. Though I'm not sure why they wanted to get out so badly. Yeah, Yoshi no like the circus industry. The Yoshis escaped during the confusion. They're a rowdy bunch, so be careful. There we go. Looking closely. Hey, just as nice as I thought it was. I decided I want to be a cage-free Yoshi. Can I, uh, cool, thanks. There's a star over here. I don't see any, like, doors or anything. I thought there was, like, a backstage entrance here. The ball that Lemmy rides on is a lot more fragile than it looks. I bet a super sharp thing could pop it. He'd have to be distracted first, though. No, I just want to get the coins. Thank you. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to squish I just wanted to break the boxes. Oh, I see. I gotta go around from this side, I guess. Okay, cool. Now, what do you gotta say? Well, let me vanish into thin air. Knowing him, it's probably part of his act. I bet he's somewhere shaking his groove thing. I swear that guy. Once he hits the dance floor, he's totally incapacitated. I'm thinking, yeah, this flap. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Thanks, honey. Oh, shit. There's a thing I can yank here. Hold on, let me say before I start touching anything here. I like that there's a little Koopa Clown car filled with just junk. Oh! Well, that's what that does. Oh, this is a... Look at this. Look at the real-time reflections on this disco ball. That's pretty neat. This relic from years past is making a comeback! None can resist its call to hit the dance floor! Alright. This is it, Huey! Oh my! I love how you can hear people kind of mumble in the audience in toad voices. Wow! And we're back! Thanks for your patience, folks. Please put your hands together for... The Mario and Huey G Super Fun Time Show. Don't be shy, fellas. No, 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 no. I don't do well in front of crowds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh. Uh. 
You guys, uh, you guys like impressions? Tin cans always be like. <laughs> Tough crowd. That joke used to kill back in the recycling plant. I thought maybe because paper is recyclable too. Nice fucking job, Huey. You ruined my set. Okay, Mario. Got any jokes of yours? Leave. Please tell me you've got something. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Mario's dead! He's fine. He's fine. Really? They liked that, but my tin can impression flopped? Where is my mushroom at? Aw, oh, that was just classic, Mario. And now the moment you've all been waiting for? The Emerald Circus main act. These potentially death-defying performances will keep you on the edge of your seat. And with that, let's get this party started. Oh, I think this uh, song is back. Please a welcome to the stage. A terrifying green beast with eight heads, sixteen eyes, and one wheel. The trick-riding introverted unicycle shy guys. Eh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's sort our cards out first so we don't use any of those important thing cards that we're holding on to. Wait. Listen to the, the soft-ass squeaking of that little wheel. That's cute. Okay. Uh, I guess, well... I'll use, like, some medium strength cards. I've got a lot of big stuff here, but I... This definitely isn't the boss battle for this chapter, so... We'll stick with, with some, with some, wow, geez, I cannot talk right now. Actually, let's do a battle spin, because I feel like a hop slipper might be good for these guys, although there are no hop slippers on display in this battle spin. Uh, and then we'll save the big, the big guns for Lemmy. Double hammer, not bad, not bad. Uh, so we'll use that, and then I guess a bunch of jumps, huh? I don't know how effective that'll be because they're unicycle guys. Uh, we'll stick with this for now. It's not the most I can be doing at the moment, but I just want to, like, kind of size up these guys. Yeah, you see, because that doesn't seem to do much to them. Oh, a tough break, kid. That didn't do squat. See, and now I know that. I just, I just gotta jump on him. Oh, god. What's this? Who let the Yoshi out? Oh, no, no. Huh? No, Yoshi! That's my brother, Mario! Poor Mario! That Yoshi ate your press's card! Did <gasps> he did what? No, my jump! I needed that! Oh, that seems to somewhat do something. I love the fucking squeaky wheel. Understudy refill! There are a dime a dozen! Oh, I gotta take them out all in one turn. Gotcha. How about that unicycle battle cry, eh? Okay, gotcha. Well, uh, I kind of wish I had those jumps. Let's try another battle spin. Still no hop slippers. That's exactly what I would have needed right now. Okay. Uh, let's get a double jump. And then we'll just stack as much as we can all in one go. You think I hurl it? No, that one. No, it has to be a jump. It has to be a jump. Uh, okay, we got a regular jump, but then we don't really have anything more than that. Didn't we have like a bunch of iron jumps lying around? I guess I used all of those up. Uh, we've got like some spin jumps. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll try a hurl hammer. That's all I really have in terms of attacks from above. Uh, and then I'll try a regular spin jump. It's about the best I can do right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, you really can't miss any of these. Actually, I think it may it might require a lot less than I thought to take all these guys out. 
Let's see. Oh, and there it goes. There goes the hair cycle. Oh. <laughs> well, those guys are fired. Speaking of fired, let's give an unseasonably warm welcome to our next guests, the fire-breathing dino beast and their miserable trainer. Meow. Oh, oh, these are a whole bunch of good boys. Look at that! Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling once we get rid of the animal trainer, <laughs> he's just gonna- the, the other guys are gonna go fucking nuts. Oh yeah, it's okay. Everything's okay. Also, there's another Yoshi sneaking around, and I don't trust like that. Uh, let's try some ice- just a whole bunch of ice flowers this turn. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yoshi! I just gotta block. I just gotta block. There we go. Mario expertly guards himself against the Yoshi's ravenous appetite. Okay. I thought that was like a guaranteed card loss, but I guess you can avoid it. I'm just gonna try to take these guys out before they realize that their trainer's gone. Let's see. It doesn't seem like these do much, though. Yeah, I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to take a couple more turns with these guys. They look stronger than your average Dino Rhino. Ah, yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh, you done did it now, Mario! Without a trainer, wild Dino Rhino start raging! Hang on to your mustache! Oh god. Oof! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I like how tough this is, though. Oh, it's a backup trainer! Lucky you! Okay, so definitely tougher than your garden variety. I don't even have much paint. Let's try one up mushroom. Let's try uh, an ice flower. Let's try a fire flower and a big hammer. Okay, cool. Yeah, these should do a little bit more. Oh yeah, way more. Look at that. Now we're cooking. Speaking of cooking... Oh, <laughs> oops. Well, there goes the whole of that card. God damn it. Oh, I done did it now. These guys do so much damage. Uh-oh. Somebody check on the piano player here. The pianist. Oh, God. Okay, we got another trainer. Yellow. <laughs> this goofy ass damage music. Okay, let's get a big mushroom. Let's. Do we have any other big? We have a big ice flower. I think just that should do the trick, honestly. There we go. Oh, not quite. It might take one more turn. Oh, one of them is down! Okay, I can handle this. I can handle this. Ooh, I almost got a perfect dodge there. Okay, uh, let's do a battle spin, actually. Let me get something that can take out the, the Shy Guy and the Dino Rhino without using, uh, much special. Because I already used like, a bunch of like extravagant cards to take out uh, these guys so far. Just a single hammer? I was hoping for a little more than that. Uh, do we have a standard line jump? Uh, that we do. I guess I'll throw in that hammer for good measure. I don't know. Oh, look at that! That did the trick! 
Phew. Let's keep this party rocking. It's a balancing act of lights of which the world has never seen. Say hello to the Iron Shell the Buzzy Beetle Tower of Terror. <laughs> I like this gauntlet. This is cool. Okay. Uh, let's start with maybe a standard baby mushroom. Uh, well, let's do an iron jump. Big iron jump for that matter. And then... Maybe a big spin jump? Let's give it a shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope! No! I don't want that! No, that doesn't. No, their shells are too hard. Of course. Ooh, boy, that's a lot. Hmm. And another guy shows up. I might use a thing card on this. I don't know. I forget how to take out Buzzy Beetles. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a battle spin and then I'll get a lemon. I don't know how else to damage these things. That is not a lemon. That is a shoe. Yeah, that's not quite as helpful. Let's try a standard, a standard spin jump. KO Hammer. A POW block? Let's start with a POW block, then everything else. And then... A big Hurl Hammer? I really don't know what I'm doing with these guys. Oh, that does it. No, <laughs> he just ran! What? They lost their balance? That's not in the script. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little overkill. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're moving along. We're moving along. Ahem. And now for the final act. The high-flying acrobatic bad guys, bad boys, the trampoline, shy guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, let's try battle spinning for... Still no, uh... Hop slippers. Anywhere to be seen. I do see a replica plunger, though, so let's go for that. Let's do that, and then, like, I don't know, a regular-ass jump? Uh-oh. The Yoshis are loose! Oh, wait it. Oh, hold on now. This isn't gonna go for anything. They just go up in the air when I try to attack, don't they? Well, that was for naught. Oh, the trampoline shy guys nimbly dodge the blow with a big jump. Oh, god damn it. Oh, maybe if I use like a hammer to knock that out of the way. That's my guess. I'm gonna try to knock it out of the way with a hammer. Cause this this is kinda similar to the very first boss battle with Morton. Do I <laughs> I need to battle step for a hammer. Yeesh. I've got, like, a bunch of, like, enormous hammers, but I don't want to use any of those in, like, testing theories here. Yeah, let's try using this, and then I could- maybe I knock the trampoline out of the way, and then they land where they're not supposed to. Let's see. Hey! The trampoline shy guys fell down! Oh no, now they're back up to the- they're doing, oh, hold on now, uh-oh! Uh, see if any- maybe I just have to break the trampoline? It seems to be doing something. In that case, maybe let's use those big hammers after all. 
Let's see where this takes us. Oh, I probably have to knock them down and then follow up with the jump on the same turn. That's exactly what- okay, gotcha. Interesting, okay. So let's use... let's battle spin for a regular thing. Oh, there's plenty of good cards here. If I can get a triple jump, this'll seal the deal right here and now. Okay, there's the triple jump, and... Perfect! Alright, so we'll put that in the lineup, and then use... Like, What's well, like the weakest hammer that I have, because all of them are fucking extra. I guess I'll use a KO hammer. It's not weak at all, but okay. And we'll use a big spin jump. That'll take care of these guys. Okay, they fell down. Yeah, there we go! Now I'm moving along. <laughs> there we go. Oh, just one left. Good thing we got this. This extra shit. What a breathtaking show! Put your hands together for all of our performers tonight. Oh shit, <laughs> they're just throwing boxes in there. And that's our show, folks. Many thanks to the stars of our show tonight, Mario and Yui. Thanks for joining us tonight. Don't forget to stop by the merch table on your way out. Merch table? I don't care about the merch table. I want that big paint star. Where's that clown lemmy? Clown? Clowns? Ah, uh, let's see, I'll end up going. Uh... Hmm. I'll save the Lemmy stuff for tomorrow, uh, and then I'll switch to Donkey Kong and just have that be shorter, because we're already pretty over the standard limit. Or rather, the standard two-hour block that I usually go for. Uh, yeah, I think I might switch games here. Because otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to have time for Donkey Kong if I just go straight for Lemmy. Uh, Alright. Give me a sec to do that then, everybody. Be back in a sec.